Hello my camera and I'm Chintan and you're watching RK Vision. Firstly, thank you for clicking on this video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and also hit the bell icon. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how to model this shape inside of SketchUp. As you can see, the shape is pretty complex one and will take a lot of time to model it. But contrary to the popular belief, let's take a look at how to model this shape inside of SketchUp without using any plugins. Remember that, no plugins. So let's take a look at that and let's roll the intro. Okay, so let's dive into SketchUp and let's go and first you need to draw a circle which is in the XY plane then draw an arc you can hit arc by A or in the menu so draw an arc I am drawing this in the XY plane you can draw it perpendicular also so now I'll rotate this and so we can have a shape something like this so now for the front like shape we need uh, to select this arc and make a copy of it so let's hit select that and make a copy so now we have created a copy of this then you can select these and make these a group so while entering the group you can just join the sides of the arc and then you'll have these faces which will pop up and then you just need to copy it to the bottom and just yeah keep doing this and then you'll have the faces of the arches that you have copied so after you have this shape which we have right now then this is in a group so then we can just copy it around or make it a component so first we make it a component then we draw a circle at the base of this and then we just follow the circle along the shape in the following manner so yeah we need to do it like this because we'll make multiple copies of this and these copies will complement each other and complete the shape that we are looking for so keep doing this and after you have this all you need to do is just click outside and select this component and rotate 23 copies of this so select this and just rotate 23 copies so yeah hit 23 and x and then you have this shape so this is the first part or one of the three parts that we need so then just select this and move it aside and yeah just make a copy or just move it aside now you can explode it and keep it in a group so that's part one now just select this and delete the piping part and all you will be left with is just the funnel shape which is made of only lines and faces now draw this arc and draw the shape using the pencil tool and this will be the basis of the next shape that we are going to make so just select this and we need to select the lines and we don't need the funnel anymore so yeah you can either keep it or just delete the funnel so i'm choosing to delete this so let's delete this and then we'll be left with this line and the circle for reference so make it this a group and entering the group make a circle and just follow this also along the line that we have drawn right now so this goes and yep so after you have this now we also need to make 23 copies of this so select this and make or rotate 23 copies uh, yep and hit 23 and x so you have this tornado looking shape so now after you have this hurricane looking shape just make a copy of this also and keep it on the right and we'll tell you how and now select this and flip it along the red axis now now all we need to do is just merge the three shapes and we'll be having a shape that we are looking for so explode it and you can make it group for which will remove all the extra lines so now all we need to do is just select this point and take it over here uh, this shape is pretty dope so yeah uh, also we need to move this to the right and merge it okay so this also goes along here somewhere here okay so yeah this is the shape that we are looking for and uh, we can just color it uh, so yeah the channel is getting quite good for orange so let's color it orange uh, so select this shape and you can select all the pipes individually or just you know, click it 
so entering this group we can just color them all or we can just control a and color them all so yeah this okay 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 miss that yeah okay you can either leave it black and white also but i like to color it orange so yeah this can be also done orange and this is it and you can make it translucent by selecting a different material over here Just select that and you can have a shadow which only highlights the structure and this can be anything polycarbonate sheet or anything like that fiber sheet so yeah this can be a feature in your project in your landscape projects in your architecture projects i hope you liked something and you hope you learned something in the video so if you do please like and please share and also subscribe to the channel see you in the next one